What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to an AC Milan booster review and build. So we're going to go through this quite quickly. I actually did spin. If you guys missed my live stream, we did spin yesterday and we did get Hullet and Shevchenko in 40 spins. So we got four 10-pack spins. We got Shevchenko first and then Hullet in the fourth pack. So we have, you know, only... We got very lucky. I've seen people go very, very deep, right? Now, the player that we're going to look at here is Serginio. Then I'm going to show you two of my builds for Hollett and Shevchenko. Did you guys spin? Let me know in the comments below. This is a re-release. Well, they're re-release boosters, but they're kind of mixed up. They're a different pack. Shevchenko released before with a different pack. Hollett the same. Serginio is probably the weakest of the lot, but he's actually a really good box-to-box -box midfielder. He's more on the attacking side. Doesn't have the best player skills. There's a lot of work that you need to do with him. He doesn't have one-touch pass. He doesn't have interception or blocker. Blocker and interception are very, you know, animation-based. So I don't really worry too much about blocker and interception for guys that are going to be bringing the ball forward. It's more for your chase-down artist or your destroyer in midfield, such as Makaleli or Davids, that their whole job is to get the ball and get rid of it as soon as they get it back. Serginio is a bit more of a baller. One of my favorite players in the game at the moment is Ambrosini. Serginio kind of fills that kind of same position as him, that's able to get up and down, Really good box-to-box -box play. Very, very nice stats straight off the rip. 80 dribbling, 82 stamina, 84 speed, 80 acceleration, and 80 kicking power. 70 aggression. We're going to tweak that a little bit, but that is the build that we've gone for there with Serginho. That is the build I recommend if you get him. 8 into passing, 7 into dribbling, 12 into dexterity, 8 into lower body to get that stamina and speed up, and then 4 into aerial strength with 5 into defending. For the rest of the cars that you're going to have, I think it's going to be a case of whether or not you want to train him in a specific way or not. Like for Shevchenko, Shevchenko is not a run-and-gun Romario-esque player. The first stat you need to look at to understand that is his tight possession. The second stat is balance. Even though it gets a boost, 65 balance is going to make a lot of issues for you if you start to run-and-gun with him. Now, Shevchenko is a shoot on site player. He can bang him in. I've been very harsh on Shevchenko. I mean, especially in my tier list and stuff. And having played with him now... I definitely think it's worth a revisit in that tier list. I know a lot of people really, really rate him. I still feel he's not up to the level of, you know, Romario and Saviola. But then again, they're different players, right? We also have Hullet as well with his player skills and stuff. A lot of, a lot of talk about Hullet. He's probably one of the most complete players in the game, even with the booster just straight off the rip with the physicality. Excellent player skills, excellent player stats, one-touch pass through pass and fight and spirit. Throw an interception on him if you want to play him as a CMF and blocker. If you want that as well for the added get the ball back. I threw aerial superiority on him. I'm going to show you my build here as well. His booster is quite nice as well because it's going to give you the physical contact. It's a very unique... Hullet is kind of a unicorn of a player. As in, he's such a rare card that he's one of the hardest cards to build. And I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to show you the system that I have and just change up this standard of uh, video very, very quickly. We won't take too long with it. This is kind of the team that I was using at the moment, right? We're obviously testing out Hullet and Shevchenko. We didn't spin for Serginio because I just feel like that there's no point. We have so many players in midfield here. This Hullet that we have built here is specifically for an attack in midfielder position. Now, I'm of the mindset that if you are playing Hullet, I would definitely improve his defense to get 80 aggression. If you are playing him as a CMF, I think that's a must. But this is the build that we've gone for here with him, with the player progression, 5 into shooting, 4 into passing, 11 into dribbling, 12 into dex, 7 into lower body, and 3 into aerial strength. If you are going to be playing Hullet in a defensive midfielder or a center midfielder type role, I know a lot of people will talk about center forward, I think this build is more than enough for center forward. I would probably just, you know, tweak down um, a little bit with his, probably his dribbling uh, a little bit and then have it in more shooting. But his shooting at this is going to be more than enough. If you are playing him as a CMF, take five out from the shooting here and pop the five into the Fennin. That's going to bring up your aggression to 80 and that's going to be the big test uh, or the big key for this card as a kind of a secret build. So you have 83 finishing here as an attacking midfielder or a center forward. You can push that out a little bit by taking one or two off dribbling. But I think the tight possession at 85 and balance at 85 is it just a game changer with this card? Honestly, try this build, boys. You've got 88 speed, 92 acceleration for a guy that's 190 cm, 85 kg. He is going to be clunky. He isn't going to be as uh, kind of mobile. He's a bit more robust uh, to win the ball back. But genuinely, man, you can have a midfield here of Rijkaard, Hullet, and maybe Vieira, Davids, or Makalele. It's just going to be... 
It's just going to be Hell's Kitchen, man. There's no getting out if you get in here. You're just going to dominate most midfields unless you're playing against a similar midfield in that role. Next up, we have Shevchenko. Also for Hullet as well, lads. For the skills I've given Hullet, we actually have given him double touch, sole control, first time shot, track back, and aerial superiority. Interception and blocker are not as important if you're playing him in an attacking midfielder role. If you are, you can just add interception and blocker instead of double touch and sole control. But first time shot, track back, aerial superiority, all very important because he does have one touch pass. That is just something to keep in mind. Shevchenko, we haven't really trained up his additional skills yet. We know what we want to give to him. Obviously, one touch pass is going to be a must. I'll probably throw an aerial superiority on him as well. And then if you wanted to have a couple of more uh, shots uh, or dribble moves, you could do that as well. So control, you could give him double touch and flip flap if you have that. So that is probably what I would go with there. But for his card itself, I've been very impressed with Shevchenko. He kind of reminds me of Diego Forlan. A lot of people like Forlan. I think Shevchenko is in that mold. He's not as rapid as Romario. You know, you're just not going to be able to compare a guy that is, you know, over 180 centimeters with tight possession at 80 compared to Saviola or Romario, who are like about 172 or 73 centimeters with rapid acceleration and balance. That's the biggest problem um, with these cards. I mean, if you compare Romario to him here, I know that they're fox in the box, but if you look at the acceleration, Shevchenko actually has 98 acceleration with this build, and he's got similar uh, speed with 92 speed, is actually above Romario. But where Romario comes into his own is going to be that tight possession and, of course, the dribbling, which is, you know, one behind Shevchenko or one above Shevchenko with the dribbling, but 11 ahead with the tight possession. And then also with the balance, that's going to be 93. It's going to be 13 more than Shevchenko. And this is going to be the same with Saviola as well. So that is something that you need to probably get in if you are going to be using Shevchenko. This is a card that's definitely going to be shoot on sight. You know, that you're going to be literally getting the ball, turning over possession, popping it into your center forward. The one thing I will say about Shevchenko, I haven't played with him. The runs he makes are absolutely incredible. Incredible. He just creates so many opportunities for you as a goal poacher. I think he's got one of the best AI in the game at the moment. The way that he actually controls with computer runs and his AI runs are absolutely insane. This is the build we've gone for. Six into shooting to get that boosted. Nothing into passing. Don't waste it. Nine into dribbling. Thirteen into dex. Five into lower body. Four into aerial strength. And one into goalkeeper. One to get his jumping up just to use that up. As I said, you've got a one-man army here with Shevchenko if you are going to be using him as a sole striker with a bit of support from the wings. Either an overloaded right flank uh, with a lot of pace or else you can just, you know, decide to bring in a, diff a, a different type of player if you wanted Ronaldo in there as well to have a double pivot or whatever uh, up front. But there's lots of variety that you could have with him. Me, personally, I would play a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-1-3 with him and just be able to spread the ball out and have Shevchenko shoot, uh, shoot on sight. He's just a really good finisher, 91 finishing, 95 attack and awareness, 98 acceleration, and we still have to give him a couple of skills. But he's been banging in goals left, right, and center for me just by pure movement. It's nothing else. So, lads, that is just a quick one. The rest of the pack is quite poor. I'm not even going to get into it, but let me know if you spun or if you skipped for these. I will be back very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you in a bit.